Greetings YouTube. Uh, just thought I would uh, do a really quick video. In a very different season in my life, uh, sometimes when you see me do these videos, I'm, I'm going to be in a beautiful studio uh, at, at the church uh, that I attend called the Worship Center. Uh, when I do those, those are going to be back to Eaton installments. Uh, back to Eaton is the name of me and my wife, Clarissa's, uh, Clarissa Denise Reinhardt. Uh, it's the name of our magazine. It's also the name of our publishing company. We have a publishing company. So I, I'm, I, I know that there are a lot of people on my YouTube channel, uh, some of whom I'm not even connected to on Facebook, that just, I guess, found me on YouTube. Uh, we do have a publishing company. It's a Christian publishing company. So if you, you're one of those writers out there, you know, you're hungry and uh, you're, you're trying to write or have something, you know, already, you know, in place or whatever, um, you know, hit us up, let us know, you know, uh, we can discuss and, uh, you know, maybe hopefully, uh, you know, a book can come out by you. Uh, of course, you know, us being a Christian company, we have certain standards and everything that we uphold. So there's definitely, again, so you, you definitely, you know, might want to you know, give us a, you know, you know, might want to talk to us and just to see where things are at or things like that. Um, but I just want to do a real quick video. It was something that was on my mind and my heart. Uh, the name of this video uh, that I wanted to do, um, it was called uh, We Exist. We Exist. Um, we live in an in, in, in extreme time. Uh, we live in an extreme time where um, the media uh, wants to push people into different ideological uh, corners and, and things of that sort. And, you know, they don't want you, they, they, they practically demand, uh, rather, that you um, choose a side, you know, choose a side. You know, it's, it's extreme. You can feel the extremeness when you're on social media, you know, you know, coming from people that are falling for um, these tactics and, and, and fall right into place. And, 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 and you know, these because these are division tactics is what they are. And so people get on on social media and fall right into it. And well, if you're not down with this, you know, uh, you know, you need to find your way off my friends list or. Or I'm going through my I'm going through my timeline and I just dare anybody to come against this and you know all this kind of stuff just these you know just these bullying type tactics because you know this this is basically essentially if you pay attention to it, it's a bullying culture right now and uh, you know every so often I've had to make posts and just you know just let people know you know you're not going to bully me I'm going to say uh, what I'm going to say. Uh, if God has put it on my heart to say it, or if I feel led to say it, or or if it's just the right thing to say, I'm going to say it. And I and if it bothers you, and you you need to know that if it's right, and if I feel led to say it, I'm going to continue to say it. Um, so, <clears throat> um, but it's it's just an extreme uh, time uh, that we're in, and. Uh, Specifically with COVID nineteen, you know there, there there's a lot of hurt and anguish and different things people have went through with COVID nineteen, and there's an extreme uh, response that people are conditioned and programmed to have. Um, if you have questions regarding COVID nineteen, if you're doubting the official narrative of COVID nineteen, and the first thing that they are conditioned to respond. Uh, with when you start talking about COVID nineteen is oh you think it's not real or do you believe you don't believe it's real and all these other kind of things that they come at you uh, with um, and the reason why I name this we exist is because this is that's what I want to want to hit on and that is this listen in spite of what you've been told some of some of you that will watch this in spite of what you've heard uh, there are those of us that know and believe COVID nineteen is real. We know it's real. We know people are getting it. We know people are dying of it. I have had family members 
and people that I've known that have died of it. We know that it's real, but do you, you, you may not know this, but it's possible to believe that it's real, but to know that a lot of the stuff surrounding it is just utter nonsense. And, you know, and, and that's where, that's where I am. That's where some of us are. We exist, America. Yes, we, we exist. It is possible uh, to, to, to have this kind of mindset as it pertains to COVID-19 and you, you, you haven't lost uh, virtue and you're not an immoral person if you question Lord Fauci and Lord Gates. Uh, I'm, and I'm saying that facetiously because some, some people, even some church folk, uh, want to treat these men uh, like that they are, you know, lords. Um, you know, whether that is in a religious sense or some sort of feudal lord, uh, and don't seem to have a problem with it and, 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 and um, are, are falling right in line with the whole I uh, thing that, you know, trust the experts and all this kind of thing and, and don't realize that they're falling in line with an agenda. Now, I have a video on here that talks about this um, that I didn't do, but I uploaded by Patrick Wood. That's falling into the agenda of technocracy. What is a technocracy? A techn technocracy is, uh, first of all, you need to know that technocracy is what essentially, what China is essentially. China is, is a technocracy. Uh, some people still want to fall in, uh, you know, go into the, the, the narrative of Marxism. And they may, it may still have some trappings of Marxism, but China, you can look this up. China is a, is a, a technocracy. That is, it is a technocratic state. What is a technocracy? A technocracy is a society that's ruled by the experts. So those of you that have, you know, fell into that propagandist line and are saying, the all the experts, the experts, the experts, well, you know, you have fallen into, you know, the propaganda. That, that's what you've done. You've, you've swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. And you are pushing, whether you know it or not, and, and the sad thing today is, and I'm just feeling some kind of way. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm sounding the kind of way I am. Uh, the sad thing about it is there are preachers, there are church folk uh, that are pushing the New World Order. and they're, they're The New World Order, and they don't really even <laughs> realize that that's what they're doing. Um, and, you know, you can, again, you can... You can uh, be concerned about COVID-19, which is a real virus. You can be concerned about things that are going on and not fall into that. It, th th that's a lie that says that you have to fall into everything they're pushing about COVID-19. And if I don't fall into everything they say about COVID-19, I don't care. I am uncaring. That is a lie. That is foolish. That's foolish. That's foolish. You don't have to be like that. Um, it is, matter of fact, at this point, it's unwise to be like that. And, and, and then there are those, I've heard preachers say there's a, well, there's nothing political about what's going on. It's, you know, we have, you know, pandemics happen. Nothing is going on. But at the same time, I don't mean to be uncaring. I don't mean to be too, too facetious when I say that. But that's, I mean, when you, some of y'all, are not thinking with some of this, these things you're saying. You're, you're, you're turning on Don Lemon and all these other people. And, and, and what's his name? Uh, the other guy. I can't think of his name right now. You're turning on these people and Anderson Cooper and all these other people. And, and even some, some people on Fox, you know, and some of these other folk. Uh, and you're just repeating things. And you're not thinking things through. Uh, you're talking about vaccinations and you're comparing polio you know, a, a vaccine that, from my understanding, was uh, vetted. <clears throat> um, you know, but you're still making the comparison. You're not. You're not thinking about that part. You know. Um, <clears throat> you know, and uh, you're talking about things not being things being. You know, it's just, it's just a pandemic. Uh, well, you know, you know, in in the last pandemic we had, I, I don't think BlackRock and Vanguard and some of these other corporations or corporations that were like them uh, existed and were buying up real estate uh, and, and basically moving so aggressively some have have even thought about the fact that we could literally end up being a nation of renters uh, I don't think that was happening 
a hundred years ago. I, I, I don't. I don't think that uh, people were uh, basically profiting uh, off of, of, you know, big, you know, rich type people were profiting off of that time. It could have been, could have been, because it, it did happen at a certain time in history. So I, I don't, I don't want to say that part dogmatically. Um, you know, you know, there, there are books. Uh, there is a book written uh, by Klaus Schwab talking about COVID nineteen. It's called COVID-19 and the Great Reset. It, it is a book that's talking about COVID-19 and the political agenda, literally. So for those of you that say that there's nothing political going on, you're just, you're just again, you're swallowing propaganda. It's just not true. It's not true. The bottom line is there are powerful people in this world that are seeing what's going on with COVID-19 and they're wanting to use it for their own ends. I could take that further because there's a lot about COVID-19 when you, in terms of studies and exercises before COVID-19 that's real fishy. It seemed like in the last 10 years, the elite of the world have been real concerned with pandemics all of a sudden before a pandemic hit. And one of those studies uh, that includes, it's a Rockefeller Foundation that includes a section called Lockstep, uh, literally has a lot of things in there that literally mirrors what we're going through now. Now, it's not the exact same thing. But people that are wanting it to be the exact same thing don't understand um, how the, the elite move. That's not how they move anyway. That's not how they move anyway. They'll, they'll put out what, they, what you would call futurist type studies where they play out, put out certain scenarios. And, and it, it's not about it being exactly like they're saying it. It's about them putting out these scenarios and basically the overall thing playing out. Uh, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's them. They're almost like... Um, brainstorming type papers on on what they put out as uh, futuristic po scenario, possible scenarios. Uh, people that have, have really looked into it have developed the assertion, I, I'm one of them, that that's not what these are. That, that, that's like a convenient cover story. But what they are is them basically, in a sense, essentially telling People uh, are putting out there beforehand things that they're going to do and then them pretty much doing it. It's not, and it's not, again, it's not about it being point by point. You know, um, there are a couple of documents that came out. There's that document, there was the SPARS document that is that, that, that's out there was from a, a, a exercise that was done in 2017 there's event 201 which was not a document i don't think but it was an exercise uh that that uh that they went through so um you know of course when people hear this especially the fact checkers they'll take this and they'll they'll build a strong man and they'll say things that i'm not saying and they'll say he said that this was proof that uh, that it, that it was planned. They'll make it say say something I'm not, I'm not saying. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you understand how a history of how the elite work, uh, putting out studies, for instance, with the Council on Foreign Relations or recommendations, and then years later, or sometimes not long afterwards, it becoming policy. You know, uh, to say that, you know, you know, the, if someone comes out and, and says, hey, there's a pattern here, you know, it's like them coming back saying, oh, they said that, you know, the Council on Foreign Relations, you know, made this a policy. You know, it, it doesn't absolutely work like that, but it, it, it's, it's foolish to think that that uh, what was written in that journal did not have anything to do with the policy that was implemented, you know. And so it's very slick, very slick how they go about 
and do things and everything like that. But anyway, that's a whole nother video. And I probably am going to do another video about that. But I just, I'm just saying, we exist. We exist. There are people out here that know COVID is real, believe that it's real, know people that have suffered with it. Some have suffered with it themselves and know that this is something that people need to be, uh, make sure they take care of themselves. But we just don't buy the, 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 the narrative that says that the only way out is vaccinations or that you know, we just have to do things a certain way. There's not even one uh, um, ideology as it pertains to medicine. So how how are we how are we supposed to believe that uh, uh, vaccinations are the only way doctors are seeing for us to come through it? All doctors would not agree with that. That is not even realistic to believe that, but. That's that's people are falling for that because people are not taking time to think through things. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there and uh, hopefully, um, hopefully um, people that listen hear and understand what I was saying. Have a blessed day.